I supposed to be sexy wearing an 87 year old woman's motherfucking clothes? Who the fuck is gonna fuck me? Oh yeah, oh yeah, sure. You know? So I'm telling you, it might be wrong. I'm going to jail. The next time she put a dukes up, I'm gonna knock the fuck out of my mama. I'm sorry. There you go. Afro motherfucking dighty right there. Thank you. Hell yeah. Jeremiah? Yeah, why does she look like Tyler Perry presents Hocus Pocus? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. That's all right. Oh. I see your ass outside, bro. Oh, she's mad. I already she, saw yours. So. On the outside, motherfucker, on the outside. You made Aphrodite mad, Dia. <laughs> Tyler Perry magic. Uh, Afro, Afro, Afro. I mean, you know... Uh, I mean, it, you know, not not the cra not the craziest fucking minute, but I mean, absolutely hilarious for as likable as you are oh, and the shit that you're talking about. Great misdirect because I thought there was some eighty-seven year old lady starting shit with you at the whatever the fuck a woman like you hangs out at or does or whatever, <laughs> like bingo night or whatever the fuck. Uh, but the the twist being that it's your mom, you know, super cool. I think you could, of course, you know, the note never ends of, like, trimming out extra words and shit. But, you know, I mean, so fucking likable, so cool. You're here Aww. every Monday, even more always jazzed up and fucking yeah. more charismatic and happier than the week before. How's life going? Very good and very good. You know, I'm doing my new show and everything, so. You're doing I'm... a new show on YouTube called the... Yeah, Stupid Central. Stupid Central. Stupid. You got this stupid in this fucking life, you know? I love it. Yeah. It makes no sense to be saying everybody else is fucking stupid. I love your goddamn uh, spirit, <laughs> Aphrodite. Um, how's your ass doing? My ass is astronomical, doing good, really good. The young men are touching it more and more. You know, I got selections, I got choices, you know what I'm saying? Hi. Jesus Christ, I have no, no idea actually, what No, actually, the muscle man said. is back. The muscle man is back. The muscle, oh, you're yeah. getting, oh, mm, oh mm, shit, mm. you're getting your chocolate cakes pounded yeah, again? Yeah, Mr. Anaconda. Mm. Wow. Hell yeah. I like him big and fat and long. <laughs> How big is this guy? How old is he? How big is he? You see he's like 6'3". Six, 6'3". Three. Six, three. You and call him Mr. Muscles. You guys ever see this yeah, guy at the gym? A 6'3", black anaconda? <laughs> yeah, I'm a big ass woman. I can't have no little skinny guy. I'll kill his ass. He be dead the first time. You know, I can't have no skin. I, I love that you actually you you made a point. You would not actually sit sit like you did not want to put your weight on Jeremiah's face. Yeah, I broke his neck. Jeremiah was ready though. He had his head. He had his head. The back of his head against the stage. He did not take. For those of you listening, he did not take his protective rat nose cover off. <laughs> I gotta be careful. I can't be getting caught killing white people. You know what I'm saying? Not gonna... Yeah, sneak around and do that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna raw rat that situation. You know what I'm There's too about? many witnesses in this motherfucker. You know? Afro, I fucking love you. I love oh, your man. spirit. Thanks for always being part of the yeah, show. Yeah, thanks for being at the roast battle. And man. let me tell you something. You know that minute that you did, uh, really, you, your pacing and your timing, and you're not making desperate jokes about desperate things that sound extreme and sort of unbelievable, like the guy that doesn't hold his dick at all when he pees. For, and it, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's like, even though it's not, you know, crushing, you know, written blows, you're, I feel like you're talking about honest, sort of, like, fun, cool stuff. And with your delivery system, it's so cool that you've gotten into the game so late, but we've watched you grow so much yes. over the, you've been coming here like two years now. Yeah, over two years, and it's so beautiful you were there when I won the roast battle twice. That was so cool, yeah. yeah I went just out, last I, week, I, I straggled up there on Tuesday, and I, I get more nervous for when I see that Aphrodite, when Aphrodite's doing roast battle than for any roast battle I've ever done. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, I don't want to see this fucking sweet, you know. Big... Oh, no, no, I got some of these young motherfuckers. She really does. <laughs> Bring your fucking, ass on out she, up in here. She turns it up. It's so funny because I see all these, it's always like, you know, guys that look like me, you know what I mean? But younger, just these fucking cocky open micers that think they're going to make big black woman, old lady jokes on you. And you just oh, fucking no, call I them out. I grew up in the murder phone. capital, St. Louis, where they talk about your mama. You better not say nothing about the shit. You're like Bernie Big Mac. Right. All right, motherfuckers. Fuck with me. I give out all kind of shit at 63. Just punching motherfuckers in the face. Ain't even illegal. Oh, my God. No, it's not. 63, right, you can hit God. motherfuckers all the time. Okay, Aphrodite. Before uh, you <laughs> confess to a crime, I'm going to get you out of here. You hit it. You ain't her shit. There she goes. I love you. 
She loves you. It's Aphrodite, guys. Come on. Hell yeah. How about one more time for Aphrodite? Isn't she just the sweetest thing? I have a special place in my heart for her. <laughs> okay. How about Charlie Lopez? Let's get him up here. Charlie Lopez. What up, Hollywood? You guys believe in love at first sight? How about now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo, if I was to fuck a dead body, there'll be a dead body coming out of the river a couple of days before. That way, you know, I'll guarantee that pussy's gonna be wet. Yo. What's so. All right. So. Thank you. So, I don't know what I got in common with Priest, but I know what. I don't have in common with priests. They like big butts and they cannot. They like big butts. I fucked up that joke. Oh shit. You guys just started laughing way too much. I like big butts and I cannot lie. They like boys and they have to lie. Damn. Wow. Fuck yeah, I, Charlie Lopez. Hell yeah, dude. Fuck. Yeah, man. It's all good. I did not expect that. Five weeks coming out. What didn't you expect? Tell us what you didn't expect. That, to kill that joke, and that was my go-to joke. Uh, so wait. You guys love the one before that way too much, and I was like, whoa, that's what that's You mean the one, the one that the we loved was when you said, I fucked that joke up and everybody laughed? That was good, too. That's why, honestly, honestly. I'm confused at which part you upset you. Help me. That part upset me. Was the part where they all laughed when you said that you fucked up. My honesty still gets laughed, so. Well, that's, hey, go with it, I right? don't understand why that would anger you, though. Oh, no, no, I'm not angry. So now you're not angry? Angry towards myself? Yeah, a little bit, but not the fact that I'm up here. I'm fucking glad I came up here. That's right, dog. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what's let, up, eh? Let it go. Wait a yeah, second, are you, are you one of the gym rats, too? It's it's full crust, eh? He's got, he sort of has those round ears. Sharky. He's a trainer for the Dodgers. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so Charlie, uh, you've been coming here for five weeks. What does that mean? You've been signing up for five weeks for Kill Tony? You haven't gotten up until tonight. Yeah. And that was, uh, what? what did you think was going to happen? That I would have fucked up that one, and that was like one of my best ones. We so need let, to let, build a wall. Oh, God, it's so bad. So let me get this right. So let me get this right. You like big butts, and you cannot lie. And priests like little little boys. And they have to lie. And they have to lie. That's and that's right, dog. And that's the whole thing? That's it. Wait. And that shit fucking kills. That, that's one of your go-tos? Go yeah. Alright, uh, we need to define the word go to for you. <laughs> yeah, that one might have I got to... too many. I got a top ten that's solid. How long have you been doing stand up what are you, David Letterman? <laughs> you have a top ten? <laughs> Tonight we're gonna go to our top ten. But for our first uh we've been signing up for five weeks, let's do our bottom uh two. <laughs> Joke number yeah, six. I like having sex with dead bodies. <laughs> Right? Oh man, fucking that usually dope. fucking kills, man. That was my favorite. Uh, you have a top ten <laughs> list of your favorite jokes, Dom. Do you have a top ten of your of your yeah, jokes? Sure. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I've been nobody on show, does. I've been on the show a lot of times. You're the first guest I've ever been afraid of. Yeah, I can oh, just no, picture getting into my car going, "Not too, not too funny now, huh, motherfucker?" That's it's still actually a it's funny. A, a little fun fact for you. A lot of people know about the time in Austin, uh, Texas, at Moon Town, which Jeremiah was attacked by a guy on mushrooms. I'll let you know, Dom, that you did tap me before that. I remember. So now I'm afraid because you tapped me when that guy first got on stage that eventually attacked Jeremiah. You go, I 
had something about this guy. Oh, yeah, uh, something was, that's, you I feel it. Yeah. You feel it was real. And he, Dom actually got up, right? Didn't he get up at one yeah. point and sort of like just start moving away from everything? Yeah, I got behind the fat guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah big Jay Oakerson. Wow. Uh, Charlie, you ever uh, you ever assault anybody? Ever physically assault anyone? Tell the truth. Remember the uh, remember the only honest part of your set is what got a laugh. I actually have I actually have a top ten assault list, Tony. Oh. Charlie, uh, go ahead. Unless they insulted me first. Yeah. Then, yeah. I'm trying to watch my sodium intake, so I'm not fucking with salt right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So Charlie, what? Uh, so like, you ever uh, get assaulted by someone um, and then beat them up real good? You seem like the kind of guy that uh, would just go, would just kick somebody in the ribs once somebody else puts them down. You, you look like you do drive-bys on a bike. What's your What's your go-to move in a fight? What do you What's What's, what's you, have your, you have a specialty, and then Honestly, and then it doesn't always work, and that. you're like, that shit usually does much better. Go ahead, Charlie. No, honestly, it's your go-to. Nothing I'm afraid of. We're both two. If they're bigger than me, just hold my fucking ground and keep fucking throwing blows. Yeah, just swing and, a lot. Uh, swing a lot. It's you been a while. You, unfortunately, you, it's been a while since yeah. I got in a fight. Unfortunately, unfortunately? <laughs> yeah. It's been 20 years. That's way too long, but honestly, I'm uh, a Let's keep that streak going. 20 years since your last fight. You uh, were born and raised here in uh, Los Angeles? I grew up in East Los Angeles. Yeah, so moved so out, out the suburbs early. Uh, yeah. How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Uh, I started writing jokes in the summer and started stand-up October. October. So, yeah, you're a little baby. I'm 34, so... Well, that's not what I meant. Yeah, I told you a long ball joke. I should have did my long ball joke, but it's okay. Is that in the top ten? <laughs> it definitely is. The love at first sight no, thing. You don't think that that sort of turns people against you right from the get? You guys believe in love at first sight when you're about to or whatever you said? I like old school shit, and not too many people do old school shit. Like you mean like liners? somebody else's jokes from like the 30s? I mean, is that what you're talking about? Uh, I didn't, I've never heard. Is that like a, That's like a Laffy Taffy joke. I, 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 didn't even, I didn't even think it was a joke. I'm I, surprised I Laffy. Like, I'm more surprised Laffy Taffy would do that shit than. Uh, I haven't said that joke, so maybe no, one day. It's, dude, you're. Look. I, the same thing I've always said for anybody that's been doing this a few months or, you know, whatever. It's like, fucking try everything. Fail miserably. There's nothing. There's the oh, most shit. important thing is coming back to open mics and shows like this and everything and doing it again and getting better. It doesn't matter how your first set goes. It matters how your last set goes. I haven't bombed yet. To tell you the no, 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 no. I got news for you, baby boy. You guys love that joke. I got news for you, my man. You guys love breaking, that joke. We have breaking news coming in right now. Uh, uh, you now. bombed before. It happened live here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh that you get messing up your joke does not count towards the not bombing part of things. Like, it happened, bro. It happened. No one's gonna arrest you for it. I, I did bomb that one. That one? No, the whole set. It was just 60 seconds. Mother but let me fucker. tell you something else. You, you've you been doing open mics around town, right? Yeah. You bombed, dude. I haven't. Tony Jones. What do you there mean you haven't? Been. Tony, it's not worth it. Let it go. Let it go. I totally forgot we were afraid of this guy, Dom. I totally forgot. There's been less enthusiastic open mics. Less enthusiastic than what happened here tonight? Dom. Hey, so oh. your gang name is Delusional, Dom. <laughs> Charlie, I'm, I don't think you're getting it, man. The note is huh. that it's good to it's good to fail. I love it. It'll I'm make you wake up and fucking start writing jokes. Oh my god! They, I think, I think so many people laughed at that one joke. It uh, took me more than five fucking seconds. Charlie, so we'll get to the next. Charlie, I zoned out. I zoned out. That's a great color for you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Brings out your eyes. Thank really you. Does. All yeah. right, Charlie. We're gonna see you again. I think you're gonna sign up again, and I think you're gonna be on this show again, and we're gonna talk. But about I it. have hobbies. I'm a fucking artist. I'm more interesting than so many. Okay, we're, that's it. We're gonna. There he goes, Charlie that. Lopez. Everybody. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Just like a typical Lopez, he wants to work more for free up here. Uh, 
La Bamba is right. On to the next one, like the great Jay-Z once said. Uh, I pulled another name out of the bucket. Let's get uh, Xavier Campos up here. Xavier Campos, anything can happen. Hey! Yeah! Here he comes. Hey guys, what's going on? Alright, a little bit about me, a little bit about me. I have a twin comforter on a queen size bed. That way everything looks bigger when I'm laying down on it. Ladies, ladies, fellas, it's like a life hack. You can go ahead and write that one. Put it in your back pocket. No, I'm, I'm, I'm childish. I'm chi I need to grow up, actually. Like, I've come to this new realization. Like, I only want to date women that wear nude color underwear. All right? Is there anything more mature than, like, nude underwear with just, like, a little bit of lace on it? No. No way. I think not. Right? No, like that. No, that's the weird stuff that goes through my mind at the laundromat. The laundromat is a very fun place, right? Laundromat is the exact place I find out how far women are taking the whole animal print thing. All right, there's nothing wrong with the animal print thing, by the way. But every once in a while, I run into a woman. She opens up her hamper, and it's like Noah's Ark comes spilling out of that thing. So it's two of everything. All right. Fuck yeah, Xavier Campos. Hi, Xavier. It's your first time on the show, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, nice to meet you. It's nice to How's meet it you. How's it going? Seem like a young buck. How old are you? I'm 27. Wow, 27. You look so young. You look so much. <laughs> you look so young that a priest would like you. And I don't know if you know this, but they cannot lie. <laughs> they like boys, and they cannot lie. No, you to... like big butts. Yeah. The priests like little boys, and you can lie. I can. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Uh, there's still a chance we're going to get killed by Charlie Lopez at any point here tonight. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrified right now. I'm terrified. <laughs> You're terrified of yeah. me, too? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, Xavier, this is your first time on the show. How long have you been on stand-up? Um, since, like, February. Since February. So almost here, almost here. Oh, okay. Very good. Well, look at you. You came up. I loved your approach, man. You came up and you got right into it. Twin size sheet. Oh, uh, the cops coming. are here for Charlie. Oh, okay. <laughs> That was the that was the actual police, wasn't it? That wasn't even you. Was I actual, called him. Sunset Strip. <laughs> I don't mean to rat, but. <laughs> that was a good one. So Xavier, tell us a uh, tell us a little bit about you. I mean. You know. Oh, yeah. So I started up in San Francisco. I was, I was going to school up there. and I, I could tell you there was something a little bit San Francisco about you. I, very rarely do I ever bring this up, but sometimes people jog or run to the stage. And uh, out of everybody that I've ever seen jog or run to the stage, you do have the silliest run I've ever seen. <laughs> It was quite, it was it's really like unbelievable. Like it was very, yes, it was I, very I was like, like, it's I like you were riding a horse, that. and I'm like, what is going on? It's, yeah. it's like he came. It was moving forward. He was also bouncing like this. <laughs> Would you ride an air horse up here? I think so. I was like a jockey in my former life. We, we, would you mind? Would you would you mind doing a quick lap around uh, around the crowd so that they can all see what I'm talking about? Uh, for you podcast listeners, uh, Xavier's about to go for a quick jog around. Uh, sure, yeah, run anywhere. I don't give a fuck. Look at him! Look at him! Hey, that's how he runs. All right, who gives a fuck? Uh, so Xavier. Uh, so. Um, you're from San Francisco. What else? You're a young buck, 27. So what does a 27-year-old like you do for fun? Um, like uh, I used to do music and stuff before this, but it was it wasn't really like my like my. What scene. do you mean you used to do music? What kind of music? What do you play an I, instrument? I, well, no, I like I used to make like I used to like produce, and then I I did like the more like the engineer work and stuff. Like I don't I don't like I'm not cool enough to actually make music. Oh, oh I know. That was just more. My God, if you had know. half the confidence that Charlie Lopez has. Uh, <laughs> You'd be a whole nother month. I can't really make the music. You know, I'm more really behind the it, scenes. But... <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Charlie thinks he fucking destroyed tonight. <laughs> I've never bombed. The streak continues. <laughs> <laughs> so Xavier, uh, you, you, uh, did you have like uh, music that you've produced? Is it out there on SoundCloud or something like? Can we listen to it somehow? 
Oh, he didn't um, sing in it or anything. He just edited no, it. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. He right just now. produced it. So you like took like samples and put them together, or you worked for someone. Uh, I used to do that, and I used to play like I used to like play original stuff too. What else do you do? What are you into? What do you do for fun? Um, You're Latino. Yeah, I am Latino. Hundred percent Mexican. Uh, I think so. I think so. Yeah, my, that's, both that's my a yes. Were adopted. <laughs> yeah. If you think so, the answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So uh, you go to the gym or anything like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> When's the last time you went to the gym? I don't think I've ever been to the gym. How much do you think you lift? Oh, I don't I don't know. Not a lot. You've never been to the gym ever? No, not never wow. been to the gym. Do you know a guy named Jim? Even I've been to the gym. <laughs> yeah, even Brian's been to the gym. They make the best smoothies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good smoothie bars. <laughs> Xavier, I mean, what do you do to stay healthy? I know you don't. I know you don't run in public. No, I don't run in public. Or else people would eat. fucking kill you if they <laughs> saw you running like that. No, I, I just try to eat good, I guess. Yeah. What do What, what do you What do you mean? I, I don't know. I just like like small portions. <laughs> like like dead birds and stuff like that, or like, like um, chicken. Oh, okay. Chicken. What'd you have for breakfast? Um, eggs. Sorry. Xavier, tell us something crazy about you, like that we wouldn't believe. Some little fun fact. Oh, uh, so uh, like one crazy, uh, like the day I moved down to Southern California, I got like uh, like beat up by like five cops, but then they were like, "Oh, wrong guy." Wrong guy. <laughs> oh shit. <gasps> the day you moved from San Francisco to LA, you got beat up by five cops, and then they said, "Wrong guy." Yeah. <laughs> wow. Don't you I hate that. Yeah, I hate that. <laughs> My God, what did they? Where was this? Uh, I was in Huntington Beach, and uh, like I like I got like I, I was out getting drinks, but then I went to like just buy a cheeseburger, and then like I got like I came for my cheeseburger, I got dragged up on my head, and then they didn't even say like like freeze or anything no, like no, that. No, they they just like tackled that. you. Yeah. Did you get a lot of money from them? I, I'm in the process, I guess. Like I got four on the twenty seventh. Hey, look at that. Fuck the police! Oh. Fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me ask you this: what, what was the very first joke you wrote that you thought I can do this on stage? Um, the very first joke I think was um, about my ex girl. I got a really bad breakup. <laughs> like, what was the joke? Um, <laughs> like, uh, right, uh, like so, like nobody likes to get in a like in a, in a fight in a bad relationship. I used to get like a lot of this. Like I get like the front and back of the hand. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but it was like, I was like, I was fighting a magician or something. Did, did like, she as you up too? There's nothing in my hand, and ta-da, something to fight about out of nowhere, out of thin air. That's adorable. Is that <laughs> still in your top ten? <laughs> <laughs> it filters through, it filters through. That's actually a really fun question you just asked him. I like that. Do you remember your first joke, Tom? Yeah. I was doing a show called All My Children. You ever hear that? Yeah. And I was a priest, and I was, it was hilarious. We got the giggles, because my whole, my lines were Body of Christ, Blood of Christ. And it just kept getting weird. I started, Body of Christ, Blood of Christ. Blood. Right? So I go in the back. I don't know why I had this thing. I won't make this long. The joke was, my, uh, my father left home when I was in second grade. He never cheated on my mother. He used to cheat on me. Pick up other kids after school. Take them to the zoo. Take them to the play ball. One day he came to me. And he says, I got to live with you. I met another kid. For the first time in my life, I feel like a real father. <laughs> Boom. The motherfucking man. Follow that, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Xavier, uh, congratulations, and uh, congrats on a year coming up here in February, and I uh, hope you Thank sign you. up again, and we get to see another minute from you. Yeah, there he goes. Congratulations Daniel. on that paycheck he's going to get. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. The old beat up by five tops paycheck. <laughs> gonna this be just it. Charlie has impregnated four women while he's been sitting there. Why, why did he do that? He's Mexican. Oh. I can say that. I'm a rat. <laughs> All right. Let's see what happens here. This looks like another new name. Make some noise for Andy Van. Andy Van. Here comes Andy Van. I feel like everybody's going to be afraid to jog or run to this stage now that I made fun of that guy. I think I ruined it. He looks like my girlfriend. 
What's up, Comedy Store? How you guys doing? I know it may not look like it, but I do fuck. It looks like I write apps for a living. I get it. I see it. No, I do. It's just sometimes girls say weird shit to me in bed. Like one time, this girl was on top, and she was an Asian, and she was like, oh, yeah, give me that Vietnamese dick. First of all, I didn't tell you I was Vietnamese. So you nailed that one. I guess we're both nailing it. I don't know what the fuck she expected. There's only Vietnamese dick down there. I'm not going to be in the middle of fucking, ah, surprise, now I'm Indian. And I didn't, I didn't like the fact that she said it to me, like she was ordering off a fucking menu. Yeah, I'll, get, I'll take the Vietnamese dick. Yeah, I'll, t I'll take it to go. Vietnamese always comes out so fast, you know. Or in my case, either it comes out too fast or takes way too long and you don't fucking want it anymore. I'm Andy Van, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. There you go, Andy Van. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. All right, yeah. Andy Van, this is your first time on the show, right? Absolutely. I yeah, remember yeah. you. You're a first ever Asian and Down Syndrome uh, comedian that's ever been on the show. <laughs> I have mild aspirations. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So, uh, so Andy, how long you been? How old are you? I'm 29. You're 29? Yeah. Wow. Yes, a verbal. I'm with that guy deep in the back of the main room with that. that wow. I'm not sure to say thank you or fuck you. Uh, Andy, I got bad news for you. You're about as oblivious as uh, Charlie Lopez right now. Uh, I've never bombed before. I don't understand. Like, <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> please, you took over North Korea when your dad died. All right. <laughs> wow. Come on. Right, this guy. So, Andy, uh, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, I started really writing jokes like six months ago, but I had been to an open mic or two before like a year ago. Yeah. Oh, so this is basically sort of really your first time doing anything in front of a real audience. <laughs> yeah. I've done a couple of shows here and there. Um, just like, but you just didn't mention those when I asked you how long you've been doing stand-up? No, but like six months, like starting like six months ago. That's when I've been doing a show, a couple of shows. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, that's fun. And all here in Los Angeles? Yeah, yeah. What do you do? Yeah, what do you do for a living? Uh, right now, I wait tables. Oh, yeah. wow. But I, I taught high school for a bit, so, yeah, before this. But I fucking hate kids, so fuck that. What were you teaching? Uh, high school biology. Wow. wow. Dom, did you know your son did that? <laughs> Red band. Ni hao. I didn't even notice that they, they basically, they do. You guys, you guys, you Same do. Eyes. Has anyone ever told you you look like a 29-year-old Asian boy before now? <laughs> he was my dad, but he cheated on me, actually, so it's kind of fucked up that we're here now. Wow, so Andy's that's... making callbacks to everyone's jokes. Your powerful Asian brain is at work right now. I remember everything. This guy's about to drop his zip recruiter at any second, just out of the kindness of his heart. Uh, so, wow. Vietnamese, huh? Yeah. Is yeah. the restaurant that you worked at Vietnamese? No, it's Japanese. Whoa! <laughs> Motherfucking race trader. Uh, how did your Vietnamese family uh, feel about you working at a Japanese restaurant? They, they don't like it. <laughs> Dishonor. What, uh, you close with your mom and dad? What was that? You close with your mom and dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're pretty close. I try to call them, like, once or twice a week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, what do they do? Uh, my mom is a pharmacist. Oh. And my dad, he's retired now. He got cancer, so he retired early. Yeah. Oh, what, what did he do? Uh, he... <laughs> Wait, I love the Keep Dom laugh. <laughs> Hold on a second. Dom laughed to the part where you said he got cancer and retired <laughs> Dom, you have to be there. Uh, what what did he do before the cancer? Uh, he he ran his own uh, like electronics like tech business in the Bay. We're from the Bay Area, so and he's Vietnamese too, huh? Yeah, yeah. What kind of cancer did he get? Uh, stage stage four. <laughs>
That joke was pretty raw, man. <laughs> liver cancer. He had liver oh, cancer. Uh, anyway, uh, anyway, uh, a little, jeez, uh, oh man, a little bit too much uh, sake, huh? No, all right. Anyway, um, <laughs> that, was, that was perhaps the dumbest uh, thing I've ever said in my life. Liver cancer. That's the breast cancer. No. All right. Uh, at least it's not the dumbest thing that's been said on this episode, because there you go. It's like he, an undertaker that's like, let me dig a deeper hole for you. Six yeah. feet's not quite enough. Did he say, uh, did he say, I got canceled? Canceled. And you're like, canceled from what? And you're like, thank you, Joel. Okie dokie. Uh, at this point, we've dug a hole almost to the other side of the planet. Uh, we're about to end up wherever the fuck your family's from. Um... Alright, so your last name is Van. Does that ever come back to haunt you in any way? <laughs> uh, well, it's not, my legal last name is not Van. It's my dad, my grandpa's old last name, before he changed it, was Van. Like, so, from, he's from Vietnam, my grandfather was from Vietnam, and his original last name was Van, but he disowned his family, he got mad at them, so he changed it to Nguyen. Let me ask you a question that all of us white people in this room are wondering, yeah. and all of us Americans. Yeah. Uh, what, uh, what, what, what made your grandfather <laughs> disown his family? Like, I only see this in fucking ninja movies and yeah, shit, like, yeah, where yeah. this dishonor, dishonor is just yeah, no, fucking it's... unbelievable. They'll just drop everything. Like, a black guy does that, everybody's like, look at that deadbeat, just a fucking thing. But a Japanese guy does it, it's like, wow, how, how, you how, go now, you go, you don't come back. It's like always the word honor is like in the mix with Asian people yeah, for yeah. some reason. Go ahead, tell us what happened. Oh, there. my grandfather is just an incredibly intense man, and uh, he, he wanted to go out on his own, but uh, I guess um, his parents had problems with him. Like, uh, What, did he want to become a comedian? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Only, I guess only I thought that was funny. Thank you, Tony. Um, no, he, he wanted to, like, start his own businesses and, like, move out of the town, essentially. And his parents were like, no, you can't do that. You can't move out of the town. Yeah. See what I'm talking about? You see how fucking crazy that yeah. is? Yeah. I'm not saying it was cool. I'm just saying that's what he fucking did. Like, right. I'm not right. advocating for that. So he left his entire family behind because they didn't want him to leave town. Yeah, yeah. And when you say family, you're talking about, like, his parents, not his kids. No, no, yeah, his parents. He, hadn't, he didn't have kids yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, hell oh, yeah, Andy. I think, uh, I mean, I think for just doing this a few months and doing a fucking what sounds like only a couple spots, period, you have a real knack for this. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I mean, it, well, you work nights at the restaurant? Yeah, I work two nights a week. And, uh, yeah, then if this is something you really want to do, man, you gotta, you gotta literally spend those other five nights a week <laughs> running around town doing spots. Yeah, I'm trying to go to a lot of open mics and just trying to get... You have a car? I do, yeah. Fuck yeah. Well, then you have no excuse. Do more spots, fucking go get it, because, you know, this interview part and a lot of the stuff that you've said and the callbacks and everything, it shows that you have a good sense of humor. You have a different... Yeah. I mean, you know. He's adorable. Look at him. Yeah. He's 29, already looks older than Bobby Lee. <laughs> it's incredible. I love it, man. All right, Andy Van. Well, it was nice to meet you. Thank you. Right, thank you. Me. Thank you, guys. Hell yeah. Andy Van. There he goes. Andy Van. Full handshakes for this guy. I thought his eyes looked very normal to me. <laughs> I was doing that. I did Bruce Willis's roast. Yeah. And Nikki Glazer went up and said, I, I was starting to look like Margaret Cho. Cho. Margaret Cho. I said, why are you going to put Margaret down? <laughs> oh, I'll show you a fucking minute. You're gonna, you want to see a minute of stand-up? You want to do a minute? You're gonna, they're gonna, they'll put you under the pressure character. They want it. Maybe ne Next time. I'm only at 30 seconds right now. <laughs> All right, I pulled another name out of the box. Ooh, I do believe this is one of the uh, founding members of the Apollo 13. This is very exciting. Uh, she, they, uh, neither of them, think either one of them have gotten pulled out of the bucket since uh, we started uh, acknowledging them as the Apollo 13. So this is fun. Uh, here we go. Make some noise for Jasmine Carter, everyone. Hell yeah, there she is. <laughs> Okay, uh, so
so I used to be gay. Oh, hold on, honey, y'all not gonna laugh at me like I still look gay. This is my straightest outfit I got on. I was like, they gonna know I like boys and this. No, okay. So I, I used to be gay. It's hard being gay, you know, because you gotta care about what's going on in the gay community. And I already gotta care about black people and women's rights. And I'm I'm just trying to sizzle. I'm not even trying to. <laughs> When you gay, people got questions like, do y'all use a strap on? Like, huh, no, we don't. It'll be here three to five business days. Just give it a second. And this is my favorite one. Guys like to test you, like, I could change you back. You just ain't had a right guy to do you right. I'm like, yes, I have. That's exactly why I'm here. And he was white. And you know what they say, once you go white, you go gay. I don't make the rules. Burr, 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 burr. Okay, thank you. That's my time. Fuck yeah. Jasmine Carter. So of course. Yeah. I mean, I've seen you. We've, you've been here pretty much every ah! Sunday for months. Yeah, since I moved here, since uh, July. Wow. You've yeah. been signing up every Monday since July, and you yeah. finally just got up. How finally. fucking cool yeah. is that? That's Really? I'm telling you, man. It's crazy. This show's nuts. This bucket has... The knack, I mean, fucking crazy ass Julian Aguilar has been up nine times probably since July. Yeah. So Jasmine, welcome, welcome. For those of you, uh, for those of you uh, just listening to the podcast, Jasmine Carter looks like if uh, Rick Moranis shrunk down Odell Beckham Jr. <laughs> into a into a little I girl. Was coming. People say that all the time, and in Cleveland, it's a baseball player. She though. looks like Wesley Snipes has Blade in the summertime. Uh. <laughs> I knew you were into scissoring when I saw your haircut. Uh, it's you not look- even like a scissor. You just like pancake or something. You just slap. But yeah. You're adorable, Jasmine. You're adorable. You're <laughs> a sweet you. little thing. Uh, how long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Uh, three years. Three years. Yeah. All of it here in Los Angeles? No, uh, in Cleveland, and I traveled to Chicago. Is that where you're from, Cleveland? I'm from Cleveland, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. And you moved out here last July? Yep, 2018. Sorry. Have you so you did it at like hilarities and things like uh, that? Uh, Cleveland Improv, Hilarities, Toledo Improv, Hilarity Laugh Factory, that Midwest circuit. Yeah. You had to bring up the one club you couldn't get on. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I could get in there. I, I was doing a no, bunch no, of shows. I, 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 talk, I talked to them, they wouldn't let me in. Oh, <laughs> a couple of times, yeah. Uh, Wow. Uh, how are you surviving here in Los Angeles? Uh, I was working, but I'm not currently working right now. But my friend Mina has been helping me out. Heck yeah. yeah. Another yeah. Apollo uh, Apollo 13. Yeah. Yeah. Baking soda! <laughs> yeah. um, so what was the job that you had before? Uh, I was doing some uh, weed packaging things. Weed uh, packaging? Yeah, I did that for a little while. I was like, this is too illegal for me. and uh, So I got a regular... You do know that it's it, yeah. it actually all the way up until basically July of when you got here last yeah. year. It was illegal, but now it is legal. Yeah, but I just didn't feel right doing it. It was like, I didn't feel right. We was all in a warehouse that would, that looked like it was abandoned and the sweatshop. It was hot. Oh, okay. I'm not supposed to talk about it, but whatever. You convinced me. You yeah. convinced me. It sounds yeah. shady as fuck. You're yeah, right. Yeah, it, was, you it wasn't right. It wasn't right at all. But, you know, I was working at uh, Island. Uh, when did you uh, when did you switch uh, from not being a how long were you how, when did you switch to become when did you <laughs> when, when did you when, when did you realize that you were a lesbian and then when did you come back I have okay. seven questions in okay. a row for you uh, when did you go from rat to Perry this still is this is this is my sophomore year into lesbianism oh so you wait I heard the yeah. joke wrong so you are a lesbian yeah, I mean oh, that's aggressive I don't want to identify but yes. Oh, yes. okay. You don't want to identify. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to say everything. Right. I, don't, I don't march. No, it's all good. Yeah. It's all good. But you exclusively... No, I like boys, too. I get oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, boys to men. Yeah. Do you have a certain kind of a, like girl that you like? Do you like Asian girls? I don't girls, like red, uh, red, black? studs. What are studs? Studs are this times ten. <laughs> oh, so you're like li- lipstick lesbian. I guess. Like, I don't really like lipstick, but yeah, like everybody likes lipstick. I like lipstick. pretty girls. 
Everybody likes them. Who's it? I'm like, I don't go there. I go to a big fat bull guy. No, not, not me. <laughs> I'm in a mood for a girl with a mustache. No. No. No, yeah. <laughs> What's uh, the first time you ever got hit on by a girl? Uh, I used to get hit on gr by girls all the time. But how about you went with her? She when I went down with it, uh, like yeah, January 27th. February 2017 was my first time scissoring. Wow. Oh, how'd, that go, how'd that go down? Like uh, It was weird. I was like, I touched it. I was like, oh, no, what's that? You know, for like mine. Right. Yeah, it was gross. And then I was like, oh, I mean, I guess. Wow. It didn't feel the same. <laughs> Ugh. I've never really, uh, I've never really, oh, this guy's agreeing with you on yeah. scissoring. That's interesting. This guy probably with a very sore ball sack for some reason. Uh, fuck yeah, dude. I'll fucking scissor you. Whatever yeah. it takes, dude. I'm a fucking lesbian, too. Let's do this shit. I'll slot my junk. All right. Um, man, yeah. scissoring does seem like it would be very... Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Those are actual scissors. For those of you wondering what that sound is, Joel went to the back and got a pair a of scissors so that he could do a scissoring joke <laughs> repeatedly until we acknowledge I'll it. be at the Morongo next weekend. <laughs> so you actually like scissoring for real, though? I mean, I've always no, heard that. It's not really a scissor. It's, it's really, really not a scissor. It seems it's more just, like it's just... I just like for the other person to enjoy what's happening. Yeah. I feel absolutely nothing, but right. I'm a team player. Is there anything so. that you're willing to share with anything crazy that you've ever done that somebody's wanted you to do, like that you didn't really want to do, sort of like working at the weed place, like you sort of felt wrong doing it, but you uh, did it anyway? Sexually? sexually? Yeah. I think a, a couple of guys was kind of like ejaculated in my mouth, and I really wasn't with oh, that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh hell no. Uh, yeah, I was like, oh hell no. <laughs> right. It's someone that doesn't want to uh, identify as a lesbian, but might be a lesbian. That's a big fucking no no, yeah, right? Yeah, I was like, uh, a dude come in your mouth. I love that she said ejaculate. Like, keep it classy. <laughs> Oh, you are a sweet thing, Jasmine. Thank you. Um, you, you. You do a lot of uh, you do a lot of stand-up comedy. Ever get to work with anyone fun or anything like I've that? I've worked with a lot of fun people. I worked with a couple of legends. I worked with uh, I Tommy Sylvester Davidson. Stallone and Demolition no. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I worked with uh, Tommy Davidson. Um, uh, dang, what's his name? God, I'm drawing a blank. I, I'm hoping for a lot of people. I'm, I am nervous. Oh, I love the other Apollo 13 member defending uh, Donnell Rollins. Look at this crew. I was like, nervous. Uh, John Witherspoon, Donnell Rollins, uh, John Witherspoon, what's his name? Tommy Davidson. Legend. And uh, <laughs> Jess Hilarious. All right, all right. I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah. I gotcha. It's starting to trickle off a little bit. Yeah. starting to... <laughs> yeah. I was just naming the most yeah. crazy people. You're the sweetest thing, Jasmine. Uh, yeah. Fucking keep... Keep working, keep killing it. Thank you. I'm so happy that you finally got pulled out of the bucket. Yeah. And, uh, there she goes, Jasmine Carter, everybody. Is that two underscores? Two underscores before Jasmine? It's two underscores, Jasmine, on Instagram. Two underscores, Jasmine, J A S M Y N. Um, okay. Uh, we have a regular on this show. He wasn't able to make it to Phoenix because he could not get off his shift at the storage facility. Uh, Can't make it. I'm hurt real bad. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our uh, <laughs> new uh, regular. He writes and performs a brand new minute every single week. So he doesn't get pulled out of the bucket. He has the hardest job because every week he does a new minute. Make some noise for William Montgomery. I'm crazy for feeling. So I was a, uh, a pretty big amateur daredevil 10 years ago. Um, everything was going good until my skate got caught in the sewer grate. Uh, when I hurt my leg. I don't know if y'all have ever gone to a movie at the movie theater before and someone starts coughing real loud. Fucking get him out of there! I'm sick and tired of it! Just going to see the movie Twister with my aunt and somebody starts coughing real loud. <laughs> oh, 
my apartment has this complex. Hey, do y'all have any more copies left of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? Uh, that's an impression of my aunt who got hit in the head really hard with a golf ball in 92. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, no. William Montgomery. How are you? How was... Uh, oh, are you going to start asking questions <laughs> right now? I love it. Uh, William, can I ask why you look like a uh, an exterminator that just got jumped? Like, what's happening here? He's in a one-piece... Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I bought this in Wyoming when I was working at a gas station up there. Um, we got, honestly, this is a true story. I, <laughs> I, uh, I end up, yeah, this is a good song for us. I end up one night after working at the gas station, going up to my dorm room. And I open up, up the door. It's 15 guys. One guy has a camcorder and two dudes having sex with a girl. And I was horrified, yet I stayed. <laughs> William, <laughs> that, William, that suit makes you look like you think snowboarding means doing cocaine. <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm snowboarding right now. It's bad. <laughs> it hurts. I'm hurt. I'm not going to make it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. It hurts. William, uh, we, were, we, we, we invited you to Phoenix with us. We, uh, we had you all set up. Weren't it, wasn't, able to, wasn't able to get out of there. I know. I apologize. I literally oh, on good. Sundays, no, only two people were It's all good. You had, you had short notice. Uh, did your parents end up making it? They are coming next week. Oh, they will be in town. That's uh, next week. Yes, it was next week. I was oh. mistaken last week. It's, it's this coming week. Are you fucking with me? No, they're really coming. Your actual parents are coming. What's we their name? We have names? to find a night. What are their names again? Dinner. Larry and Francis. Francis. Do you they, think Francis will be upset that you look like a skydiving orangutan? She would be horrified. There was a point in time in Memphis. I was going to this open my maybe six or seven years ago, and I had this on, and elbow pads and knee pads, and she's like, "What are you going to do tonight?" And I was like. Uh, say something about how I've been writing this book about a spider horse and and how I got hurt, and she started crying. Anything happened in your real life this past week that uh, <laughs> is interesting? Uh, it was my birthday. Oh, it was your birthday. Saturday night, turned 32. What'd you do for your birthday? I went over to the, the Portugal Demand people. I, I uh, went, went the over to their mansion, did a, a whole bunch of molly. Um, Allegedly, William. I ended up missing my... This is how you never get invited <laughs> to another Hollywood party. Go ahead. Ended up missing my uh, job the next day. Um, Wait, after all that, you ended up missing your Sunday shift and you <laughs> could have come to Phoenix. Next, I got fired the next day. No, you didn't. I didn't. Oh, okay. But, but is that true? You really hung out with Portugal the man? It was fun. He got me a, uh, a bottle of bullet bourbon and a, an ice cream cake. That is so fucking cool. Wow. <laughs> a lot of people don't know uh, that Portugal the man hangs out here at the comedy store like all the time. They're really yeah. cool guys. And great yeah. musicians, too. Yeah. Know the, um, well, that's awesome, dude. Well, happy awesome. fucking birthday. Well, thank you. Thank so then, you. is the zipper broken on that? What happens if you try to zip that? I can't get it over my gut. Is that true? I mean, is it really? Does it go lower? Can we see your dick root? Can you suck it in? Can you... This part of Kill Tony brought to you by Zipper Recruiter. <laughs> hey, Chroma Chris. All right, William. Well, I mean, you're just adorable. <laughs> we fucking love you. We, you know, it's just incredible what you're doing here. I think we're a perfect uh, fit for each other. Thank you so much for being you. Thank you. William Thank you, Montgomery. Let's get back to the bucket. <laughs> that was your... I didn't even... That, that was your first... Tony, I have breaking news. Uh-oh. Yes, go this ahead. This is important. All right. 
I just want to give a guys. This is big. Okay, something in my gut instinct is telling me that it's not. But go no, ahead. No, no, it is. Okay, guys, you're looking at the newest addition to the artist roster of Ludwig Drums. Wait, you? Yeah. I wanna, wow. Uh, yeah, I want to give a shout incredible. out. That's incredible. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to Bob Henry. Wow. I'm, I'm joining Ludwig Drums, home of John Bonham and Ringo Starr, baby. This is for real. Wow, that yeah. is incredible. That is incredible. Thank you so. You know what's funny is that not only, I mean, that is first of all amazing. Joel has a brand new sponsorship, but I'm actually glad you did that because uh, you made me realize that I forgot to announce that we actually have a special announcement. I fucking blew right by it without saying it. The March 21st, uh, first ever Kill Tony in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, which has been uh, requested for a long time, has sold out. So we're adding another show. So those tickets just went on sale immediately for a second show that night, uh, Thursday night, Philly Helium. So your special announcement reminded me of my special announcement. Boom. Shout out to Bob Henry and everyone at Ludwig. Thank you so much. Ludwig fucking true. True. That's drums. That's fucking How badass. About that? that is unbelievable. The new artist roster. It really was breaking news. I yeah. th I've never, that's the first time you've ever done anything serious in the show's history. So I'm like, all right, all right, give us this breaking news. It was really breaking news. I also have breaking news, Tony. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I just joined the roster at Chuck E. Cheese. Thank you very hey. much. Oh, so much fun. Back to the bucket. What do you guys think? Should we do this shit? Huh? All right. Sure. Let's go. Oh, you want to pick one? You pick one. You do it. Dom's got his hand in the bucket. <laughs> he picked it. <laughs> what do you want me to say it? Ooh, that's definitely a new name. I've never said this first name in my life. Osiris Henry. Osiris Henry. Can you put it back in there? Osiris. Oh. Osiris Henry, make it, make, put your hands thank together. You, thank you, Osiris. appreciate that, guys. All right. So I just quit my job, and it was a real uh, bummer because I didn't even get to enjoy my MLK Day off. I had to look for work. But I feel like, you know, I can't really complain too much because everyone's got to work these days for MLK Day. You know, the employer's really out here breaking our backs, working us to the bone, you know. It gives a lot of people insomnia, myself included. That's why I do comedy, it is uh, to get rid of these voices in my head. But, like, think about it, right? What if MLK was trying to do his thing right now, and he had insomnia? He might have never had that dream. That would have been fucked up. But think about it, right? So when they were making it a holiday, they had to put it up to a vote. And John McCain, the first dude to run against the first African-American president, voted against that. Who do you think that was more awkward for? Wow. Your comedy matched what you look like. It's yeah, incredible. Tony, that, that was absolutely dreadful. <laughs> hey. Wow. Oh, that is gross. Uh, I'm a rat. That was disgusting. For those of you listening to the show, Cyrus is a tall white man with a, uh, like a, uh, how would I describe that beard? A trailer park beard and, uh, and, and dreadlocks that seem to be of the albino nature. Um, it, he looks like a deleted character from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Osiris, what, uh, what's going on with you, man? What, is, what are you? You a white guy? Uh, I am. I am white. You've been on the yeah. show before, right? I have been on the show before. And, yeah. And uh, I remember that. That was like one of your big. That was, was like when you. Yeah. He said he was. He said he was like running away from the cops, and I said, "Is it hard to run from the law in flip flops?" Oh, that's, that's right. right. Last time you were on the Great show, memory. you were on the run from the police. Yeah, I can't even remember that far back. Did they catch wow. you? Wow. Uh, actually, funny story. So I. Oh, I now you have a funny story. I can't actually, I can talk about it now. Oh, you can talk about it now. Because last time you couldn't talk about it. Right. Even, right. Yeah. It was an open case. And so it's closed now. We figured it out. It wasn't me. It was a guy kind of who looked like me. It was a black man. Um, and he was black, right? He was an albino black dude. And 
And what happened was, I guess he stole this golf cart and like drove it into the pool of this hotel. Um, out, and I just happened to work like right by there, so that's why they got us confused. And then as he was running from the cops, he kind of went up this abandoned hotel thing and like was up on the top floor, and they were trying to get him, and so he had to like rappel down the uh, whatever those balcony things are. That's what it's called, a nine. That's the one. And so he got away, uh, which is crazy, but they thought it was me. So you got in tr- they thought that you were a black albino man? That's right. Yeah. Isn't that what you've always dreamed of? You know, I, was, yeah, I, was, I blushed a little bit. So it wasn't you in the end. Dreams come true, guys. Wow. So when you did that move and they pulled the heart out of your chest and ate it, <sighs> did anybody notice that? What were you? Who were you thinking about? What were you uh, just the process of you know me being in Hollywood and becoming a comedian. How long, like, you, how long have you been in Hollywood? Uh, Hollywood, two years. Well, hold up, let me do math. Oh, we'll two be here forever. Right. Let's right. give us a ballpark there, buddy. It's like close to three. Close to three years. Yeah. And you're originally from. I'm no nowhere. What I, season I, of Dog the Bounty Hunter are you from? <laughs> What do you mean nowhere? The, the last season. No, 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 no. Answer the real question. Okay. You, you got this, so sorry. Right. I'm really not from anywhere. I've moved around a lot, but I moved here from Hawaii. Oh, That's where I've lived the longest. Right. Yeah. How long were you in Hawaii? Ballpark. Seven years. Seven years yeah. in Hawaii. What did you do in Hawaii? I was working on the beach, He's trying to beach find boy. the yeah, living yep. life. Uh huh. Yeah. And, awesome. You know, okay. What did you do for a living on the beach? Remind us. Uh, I did. I like rented surfboards and did lessons. Told and, people like, where they mostly... could get the best poke. What? I told people where they could get the best poke. Wow! Someone just lost their drum sponsorship just then. Did you hear that? I just got a. We just got breaking news. Oh, this just in. I still got it, you idiots. <laughs> Suck my dick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, so Osiris, uh, now that you're in Los Angeles and there's no, uh, there's no, you know, beaches for you to rent stuff mm. out at, uh, what do you do? What the? So I was working at a school, and I can't talk about that because now I'm going into court again. Um, the kid had it coming, huh? I can't talk about it, all right? What um, are you talking about you can't talk about it? I can't. Like, he's an open investigation, and I'm not trying this to... help. I know black guy was teaching kids. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I don't think they love teach at that school, but... What do you um, mean you can't that talk wasn't about a joke. it? Um, I can't talk about it. Like, that's just how laws work. Something happened when you were teaching at school, and now there's an ongoing investigation. Correct. Yeah. Did you get into a fight with a kid? Uh, well, I didn't start it, though. <laughs> so, I thought you couldn't talk It wasn't it. me, but they got Dude, you he, on the camera. He dresses so hard. It wasn't me. <laughs> Sometimes uh. you got to hit a kid. You got to hit a kid. If they yap in your face. Sometimes, Sometimes you got to hit a kid if they look at you wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lime in the coconut, yeah, man. Yeah, baby. So, Cyrus, I've noticed that a lot of the things... Hey, booze who's out? I smoke Thank... weed for the breakfast and for the dinner and for the lunch, and I have a pet snake. Do you have a pet snake? Good memory. I, not anymore. I had to get rid of Tony. I do remember that. You did have a pet snake. That's how laws work. That's how laws work. He's not lying. California's really serious about that I shit. I slap a kid with my snake. Slap a kid with my snake. Wow. So, Cyrus, you did have a pet snake. I play you... hockey sack professionally. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So, Cyrus, you had to get rid I of your pet snake. I go to black women to get my hair done, and it's the best thing. It's the best start of my life. Oh, Cyrus, listen to me. Oh, I'm Focus sorry. On He's me. bringing me back. Why do you have to get rid of your pet snake? Uh, oh, yeah, so, well, but because the place I... is my favorite dessert. I like to put them on my fingers there and act like they're claws. There you go, again. 
For those of you that love watching shows get burned down, make sure you watch Jeremiah Wonders, where that doesn't happen. He follows his own formula. No one's there to burn things down. Thank you for the plug in the middle of the show. No, I know, yeah. I did it at the top of the show, too, because because I'm such a nice guy. I think guy. we're getting a caller. It's another fan. It doesn't... Okay, very good. Very good, Jeremiah. Very good. How, what, 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 what are we going to do? Push it more every single fucking episode? I love it. Okie dokie. <laughs> all right. Perfect. Fucking great. This is literally the best I've done all night. Give me this, please. It's really not. It's just... It's just... Oh, God. Oh, my God. You gotta take it when you see it, and you got it when you have it. Oh, my God. You... It's, it's been a really long time now. You've been doing this. Jeremiah, why are you, you both now you, now you woke this guy up over here. There we go. Very good. Can we continue with the fucking guest? I mean, no, I mean, we can't. You can just, if you're gonna fucking do it again, just, just, just do it, man. Hey, you know, he got the keep asking him the same question. Trying to get his money, too, dude. You shut the fuck oh, up. You're right. I'm sorry. That's Jesus my brother. Fucking my brother. Christ. My brother. Osiris, why the fuck do you have to get rid of your pet snake? My my roommate's dog, Thunder, is like, she apparently loves him and wanted... His roommate dog, Thunder, doesn't even matter what I say. When you got a dog and you got a snake, sometimes you got to choose or it's a big mistake. Yeah. So what did Thunder do? What did the dog Thunder do? Well, nah, I mean, they just weren't playing well together, so I had I to... I can't go. talk about wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. With a snake. Um, stop. <laughs> what do you mean the snake and the dog didn't play well together? It's just apparently one of those things where if it's a small dog... And it barks and moves a lot. The snake is gonna try and eat it. Dude, what, it wasn't the snake in a fucking tank or anything. Where'd you keep the tank? Where'd you keep the snake? You had a loose snake. Well, no, I mean I had like a, a rope that I kind of tried to like tie it up. A rope and like a leash. You got a rope on the snake and it actually doesn't work. Oh my god, I I think my house is burning to the ground. Oh god, no, 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 no. All right, let's keep this fucking interview moving along. Because I'm just getting started with you. So you, did you really have a rope on a snake, or are you actually being no, funny really for the did. first time in 12 I minutes? I promise you. Look, okay, so uh, Vegan's <laughs> Dilemma, right? We had... Wait, rat. wait, wait. Vegan's Dilemma? Is that what you just said? Vegan's Dilemma? Vegan's Dilemma. Vegan? You're a vegan? I am a vegan, guys. You're I'm, a vegan. I'm just going to check all the stereotypes of the white dude with the dreads. Right. Yeah. It's also the name of your reggae band, right? <laughs> check the... Vegan's song. Dilemma! <laughs> So when, when you have when you have a rope on a snake, doesn't it just go through the hole? Well, yeah. that was the uh, most of the like, problem. Uh, it seems like something out of like a fucking uh, Tom and Jerry cartoon or something like that. I don't eat meat, but I fed my snake a dog. <laughs> <laughs> so vegan still, I mean, you have the snake and the dog. You have the snake on a rope just slithering around the fucking apartment. It's like, oh my god, you have two snakes? No, that's just my snake and the rope that it drags alongside of <laughs> Snake on a rope is my side project. Bra, bra, I never on a rope. Gotta diversify your bong. You're like, what would so you tie the rope to something or Yeah, like I mean what? a chair. The dog? <laughs> huh? What would you tie the rope the other end I know you're gonna say the, the snake, snake if I don't like finish the whole question. What would you tie the other end of the rope to that wasn't attached to the snake? To a chair or like... <laughs> to think. I just picture one of those roller chairs with like eight wheels on it. Just like, oh, the chairs, chairs moving through the living room. Hey, Osiris, <laughs> I think I saw a ghost in your apartment the other night. There was a rolling chair just moving by itself. No, that's just my chair snake, my... <laughs> chair snake. Tony looking for food. That's all that is. That's what I tried to tell him. So you had the chair, you had the snake attached to a chair. Your roommate has a dog. What kind of dog was it? 
Uh, you know, I don't even really know those small dogs. I just uh, tiny. It was a dead dog. <laughs> Wow. Uh, what was your snake's name? Uh, Tony. What? Your yep. snake's name was Tony? Yep. Wow. AKA White Privilege. <laughs> what? Well, actually, after Tony Montana, so I don't even, I don't know if that, he's Cuban, but I don't know. All right, so the, did the snake eat the dog, or your roommate made you get rid of the snake? The, dog, the roommate made me get rid of the snake, because she was there first, so. Right. Tony Wait, Rico. she? So this lady, these are, you have a female oh, roommate? Yeah, I have all my roommates. I got, what, let me, four, I got to do math again. Four female roommates and then one dude roommate. It's a, it's a crowded house. But it's not as crowded as the last place I just moved out. How did you get rid of the snake? Did you just, like, open the window and throw it out? Or how do you win? A Craigslist. You know, actually, I, in the same day, sold them pretty easily. Apparently, people like snakes. How much did you sell your snake for? Um, 50 bucks. I what, thought that was a pretty good deal. Do you remember specifically that day what you did with the 50 bucks that you got from selling your snake? Yeah, funny story. I actually just... Ooh, I, now I'm excited, because last said, time you said funny story, you told me that uh, your roommate had a dog that? and that you had a snake and that you'd tie it to chairs and shit. So, <laughs> I can't wait to hear your next funny story. I believe you now. I used it to get this, like, little... It's not a kayak, and it's not, like, a surfboard. This is what you spent the 50 dollars? Yeah. So you spent your snake money on? Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. A little a, kayak, a little tiny kayak? Vessel? Go ahead, wait, what? It's like a water vessel that you, like, you, you, like, you sit like this, and then you, like, go like this, and it looks like a surfboard, but there's only... It's like a wakeboard and a surfboard. I don't even know what you call it. It looks like something you created with your mind, is what it looks like. It sounds like... I use my snake money to buy a white trash boat. <laughs> so you take it out on the ocean, and you just sort of, like, kayak with it? Yeah. You just sort of kneel down? I'm and... actually trying to get into piracy right now, so I need to get... Software piracy, or...? Uh, I don't know too much about that. You're trying to become you a pirate. Afterwards. Yeah, oh, uh -huh. so, because, like, you know, it's a tough job market right now. And there are a lot of boats down in, like, Long Beach, so I figure if I get a ladder... Well, still not, not funny. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, Osiris, I mean, what can I say uh, other than, uh, you know, there needs to be a lot Acid's of... Acid's a great thing. Acid is a great thing? Is that what you said? Well, I was just saying, if you're looking for things to say, that could be one. Man. All right. It's a wild episode tonight of this show. Um, do you tweet right. a lot? Do you, do you have a Twitter? Uh, yeah, it's at, at Osiris Henry slash Rope Snake. Say that again. At Osiris at Henry. At Osiris Henry. Oh, okay. At Osiris Look me up. I'm Henry. pretty funny. I just started. It's a new page. Um, yeah. You just so. started. It's a new page. Is it's, it? I got four posts. Oh, okay. It's the one with, like, the ultimate warrior is your avatar? Or is uh, that you? That's a Snapchat filter. Oh, of you. Yeah. It's actually Bob Marley playing soccer. So you Rest only have one post. Too. You only have one tweet from January 23rd. Oh, right. Is that correct? Oh, is that? Tw I, well, it's Osiris Henry across all things. Yeah, that's just my first. I just made it. So you like, only have one tweet. Yes is the answer? I, I told you I'm not good with math, dude. Stop sweating me, man. Anyway, I'm sorry. I snapped. It's not I'm real. Not, no, I'm sorry. It's not, it's not math. Yes, it's one tweet. Or tweet. You, you don't even know I'm what the fuck this, math man. is. That's not even math. It's one, one tweet. Yeah, I got one tweet. Snake, one dog, four roommates. <laughs> It takes more muscles to frown than it does to smile. So whenever people ask me why I'm so happy, I tell them it's because I'm lazy. Aphrodite, I'm mad at you for laughing at that. That's what I call a white fortune cookie man. <laughs> Osiris, what do you think the whitest thing about you is? Ooh, I mean, I'm pretty white. I'm trying to think what would... You said the least whitest thing about me? Really, you can just say whatever you want. Do you have Asperger's? <laughs> whatever, um, whatever you have Okay, an here's the whitest, to. the whitest thing about me. Yeah. Okay, so I got a lot of time on my hands, so I'm going on YouTube, getting lost in the rabbit hole, and I got, I was watching a lot of uh, um, car carnivorous uh, plants last night. It's kind of some deep shit. It's scary. Like plants. What did you learn? There's plants eating shit. What? Like, where's well, the dog eat dog world out here now, man? Well, that would be. But I kind of want to grow one now that I don't have a snake. Were you watching Little Shop of Horrors? Uh, no, it's like there's this one from <laughs> California. It's called like a wasp thing. And it like... Flying yeah, yeah, yeah. Flying, flying. And then you go in it and then 
the fly doesn't come out. It's Aren't a Venus, Venus fly trap. Well, no, this is different. There's a California wasp thing that hangs like it, but a Venus uh, fly trap is pretty cool, too. I'm actually mad because these plants are eating meat, and I'm a vegan. All right. It well, makes you think. Osiris, uh, you know, you are quite the character. Um, please sign up again. Oh, I, this good. is the longest I think we've ever spent on an, thank you so on much an interview time, with guys. anybody ever. Hey, Osiris, thank you Henry. so much, guys. Thank you. What do you think? What do you think about this guy? I forgot. Jeff Von Dalmire, how about a hand for Dalmire, ladies and gentlemen? Come on. Look at that drawing. He did it again. Look at that. That's you. That's me.